Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a QQQ update. I thought I would do this. I've been doing market updates on the SPY, but the Qs has been more bearish than the SPY all along, meaning that the pull-in in the Qs has been uh, more significant than the pull-in in the SPYs. The SPY has had some red bars, but it keeps making new highs, not the Qs. Is that the reason for this today? No. Market had economic data today, just, you know, reacted neg negatively to everything it heard of, and this, though, is very unexpected. This is the first day I'm actually going to say uh, this is heavy. Doesn't mean we're changing trends. Doesn't mean the market's not an uptrend. Doesn't mean any of that at all. It just means the market sold off immensely hard today, out of the sky, out of nowhere, on a day that it shouldn't have done it. And it could bounce into the close, but low odds. 45 minutes left approximately until the close of the bell today. And the market has had no let up in selling the entire day today. And there would have been no reason to short this. So this is just selling, okay? Market triggered in a buy setup yesterday, followed through, went to a bigger target than expected, opened as a neutral gap today. This is what I call a neutral gap. And fell, fell as soon as it opened. Should have held, but there really wasn't any recent area to hold in here. I think that was part of the problem now that I'm seeing this here. Let me just look at one minute. Oh, this is so tricky. We must close with some significant tail here or gap up tomorrow to not fall again tomorrow. Otherwise, the target in the market is all the way down here at 83, 82.50 for the pull in. Let me just go back here to the beginning of the day. I, I'm shocked at how much we sold off today, but we're still bullish in the overall chart. We are still bullish. I just want to see if the market opened and swooshed. 87.88. No, no, it didn't. The market did not open and swoosh today, but it should have held right in here, right in here by 9.45. 10 o'clock, the very, very latest, and actually by 9.45 into 10 it broke. So the market needed to hold right in here quickly, 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 and it couldn't do it. And that was a sign. And around 10, between 10 and 10, 15, I said, oh, we're just going to be red all day now. And the interesting thing is, we really didn't have any opportunity to short this market if you wanted to. If you wanted to take advantage of the short move, you didn't really have much of an opportunity to do it. There wasn't any rally back to short. Market's going to make an attempt to hold here into the close. It's weak as all get out, though. This is a weak day in the market, and it actually looks bearish to me for deeper pull-in. The pull-in could be $2 away from now or could be even deeper because this is totally unexpected, and the market should have held better than this, and the market still is in an uptrend, okay? A mar the market does not change trends, and neither do stocks, by the way, until they gap and do a bearish gap is of significance. This is not a bearish gap today. It is a gap up. But the red bar in the day, the way it broke, the way it fell and did not hold the buy set of the triggered yesterday is bearish for the temporary time frame. It could last just till tomorrow and we could bounce into next week or it could last, I don't know, for the next week or two. Who knows? I mean, the next level that's realistic for the market to come down to is here and then here. And gosh only knows. But for now, we're still bullish in the overall trend. Bearish, though, intraday, today, and tomorrow, we have to close strong, and we have to gap up tomorrow significantly, or we're going to gap down tomorrow, or trade down tomorrow in a neutral gap or small gap up to a bigger number. We could have two red bars here in a row tomorrow, because if we gap down tonight, well, it depends how much we gap down. If, if the gap down tomorrow morning is big, then we're going to hold. Tomorrow is going to be a pretty significant day of its market to tell what it's going to do. I, I'm, I'm just shocked here in the bearishness of this. And, and I love to short, but this is just pure selling here today. Look, Mark is going to try to close, but 45 minutes, it's, it's going to have to bounce here more if it's going to hold. This is Melissa with the stock. Swish.com is the first day since I can't even remember. I don't even remember. I don't remember the last time I said the market actually looks heavy. And again, not changing the overall trend, which is bullish, but looks heavy for the short-term time frame here. And I actually feel like the market was heavy today because it should have held, and it did not hold, and it didn't. Okay? 
So tomorrow would be a good telltale sign, not for what, where we go next, but just for the short term, how far we're going to pull in. Are we going to pull in down to the next number at 84? Or are we going to pull into 83? Are we going to break and go fall all the way down and break 80? I don't know. Again, we're still in an uptrend. And I still think the uptrend in the market holds this year. But this is a deep sell-off today, and it can't be ignored because it shouldn't have happened. shouldn't have happened. As far as I'm concerned, I don't see the reason why it happened so aggressively, but it did. And again, that's a great thing about trading in real life time. You make decisions on the fly. You see it, and you see it for what it is, and you read it, and you see it, and that's it. Look at this. This is a crazy weak attempt to bounce. Woo, woo, woo. This, we have to close above. We'll just see here. We have to gap up or close above or gap up tomorrow above 86.50 to recover from this crazy bar today. I, I don't know if we can do it or not. It's more than a dollar from here. Here's the bounce. It's going to try. It's going to try to bounce here into the close. But this was a very weak day in the market. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, uh, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Red day today. Red's my favorite color. Beautiful, beautiful red. I would never have shorted this market, though, because this is unexpected. I just do my gap shorts, but it's real, people, for now, at least for the temporary time frame. Again, this does not change the overall trend in the market, which is still strong. The minute I see the market doing something where I think the trend is going to change, I will say it. That's not here. But for the temporary time being, market's not done pulling in. And the pull-in could be deep. Tomorrow is going to tell a lot. Anyways, have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow.